Imagine the scene. It's 2026, and Tesla finally launches the long-awaited Model 2. It emerges as the answer to a question that has echoed in the market for years. Is it possible to have an affordable Tesla without losing the charm and technology that made the brand a global icon? The car arrives at 450 meters long, making it 450 millimeters shorter than the Model 3, but still impressively present. The initial sensation is one of surprise because at first glance it doesn't seem like a smaller car, but rather an optimized version, tailored for busy cities, yet without sacrificing the futuristic aura that accompanies Tesla in all its models. It's curious to note how Elon Musk always finds a way to build anticipation and, in the end, surpass what already seemed too bold. Upon approaching, the two-meter width is striking, ensuring robustness and giving the impression of a car larger than it actually is. This width was designed to balance presence and practicality, resulting in a compact car for parking in tight spaces yet one that doesn't leave passengers feeling squeezed into a box. The 1.43-meter height completes the proportions, creating an elegant low profile very similar to that of sports cars. And what's most intriguing is how this package fits into everyday urban life without losing the sophistication needed for longer trips. Tesla has managed to design a car that seems to play on both sides of the spectrum, practicality, and style. The Model 2's design is one that catches the eye. It's not overdone or confusing. On the contrary, its simplicity is its strength. Every detail was calculated to combine beauty and aerodynamics. The body features contours that promote airflow and reduce turbulence, but in a way that's pleasing to the eye. It's the kind of design that, even after years, doesn't seem to age. And this is important because Unlike other compact cars that quickly lose their visual impact, the Model 2 conveys the feeling of being a long-lasting presence. And let's be honest, no one likes investing in a car that looks dated just a few years after its launch. One impressive detail is how Tesla mastered the transition between practicality and sophistication. The Model 2 can be easily parked on narrow city streets, yet at the same time, doesn't convey the impression of being merely a city car. It's a versatile companion, ready to hit the road and offer comfort over long distances. It's intriguing to think how Tesla transformed a challenge, reducing size without losing its identity, into a standout feature. This duality between being small on the outside and large on the inside creates a kind of automotive magic trick. Compared to rivals like the Chevrolet Bolt EV, or even the Hyundai Ioniq 5, it's clear that the Model 2 boasts more intelligent proportions. While other manufacturers still seem undecided between focusing on aesthetics or functionality, Tesla has managed to deliver both in one package. The cabin width, for example, offers enough comfort for four adults to travel without complaining about space, while still preserving the futuristic charm that sets the brand apart. It's as if Tesla were saying, compact, yes, but without sacrificing comfort. Another interesting aspect is the roof design. Despite its low height, the Model 2 provides a feeling of spaciousness, allowing even taller people to feel comfortable. This balance between height and interior space is the result of a detailed study of proportions, something that isn't always a priority in entry-level cars. Here, Tesla demonstrates that even in a more affordable model, the experience of those inside remains a priority. It's almost as if they want to prove that a reduced price doesn't mean a loss in quality, and that alone is enough to spark interest. When it comes to the Model 2's structure, it's clear that Tesla didn't just want to save materials, but also reinvent the foundation of a compact car. Instead of going the traditional route of steel, the brand opted for an aluminum-titanium alloy which ensures both lightness and strength. The result is a chassis that's about 120 to 150 kilograms lighter than those used by direct competitors. This difference may seem small in numbers, but in everyday life, it completely changes the driving experience. The car becomes more agile when accelerating, more precise in corners, 
and even more energy efficient. It's as if every part was designed to deliver a double benefit, more performance and more fuel economy. This weight reduction didn't happen alone. Tesla also achieved an impressive drag coefficient of zero. 21, surpassing even established models like the Toyota Prius, which was already a benchmark in this area. This means the Model 2 cuts through the air with less resistance, which helps increase range without the need for giant batteries. On the highway, this detail makes all the difference. Less effort to maintain high speed and less energy consumption on long journeys. It's almost as if the car glides naturally, taking advantage of every air current to its advantage. Another notable aspect is stability. Many people might think a compact car is fragile, but the opposite is true here. Tesla increased the front and rear track width compared to other small models on the market, improving cornering balance and giving drivers more confidence. This choice is rarely seen in entry-level vehicles, but it's a priority in the Model 2. It's a detail that reinforces the idea that, despite being more affordable, the car still delivers a premium driving experience. The engineers also focused on keeping the cabin quiet. The structure was designed to reduce road and wind noise, which is often bothersome in compact cars. By optimizing the diffusers, side skirts, and the roof itself, they managed to minimize turbulence at speeds above 80 km h 50 km h Interestingly, this type of detail, often reserved for luxury models, appears here as standard. This demonstrates how Tesla wants to position the Model 2 not just as the cheapest, but as a game-changer in the category. Combining lightness and aerodynamics, the car achieves an efficiency level of 15 to 20 kilometers per kilowatt hour. To put it in perspective, this is comparable to much more expensive vehicles, practically doubling the efficiency of some rival compact electric cars. This means more kilometers per charge, less time spent at charging stations, and, of course, direct savings. And let's face it, who wouldn't want to drive more and pay less? The choice of aluminum and titanium alloy also brings durability benefits. The material is less susceptible to corrosion and guarantees a longer chassis lifespan. In practical terms, this means fewer visits to the shop for structural repairs, less risk of long-term problems, and more consumer confidence. It's a smart move that reinforces Tesla's image as a brand focused on innovation and reliability. There's no denying it. It's hard to look at this and not think the competition will have to catch up. The Model 2's wheels weren't chosen solely for their looks, but to transform the way a compact car handles on the road. Available in sizes between 18 and 19 inches, they offer a balance between stability and efficiency. Anyone who's driven a car with smaller wheels knows how much impact they have on cornering and safety. Here, Tesla found a size that inspires confidence without compromising energy consumption, creating a feeling that the car is always firmly planted on the road. This detail may seem simple, but it completely changes the driving experience. Another surprising feature is the adaptive suspension, a feature typically reserved for luxury cars. In the Model 2, it adjusts stiffness and ride height in real time based on speed, weight, and even road conditions. Imagine hitting a pothole or speed bump and feeling the car absorb the impact without jarring everyone. This is the kind of technology that not only increases comfort, but also extends the lifespan of various parts by reducing unnecessary stress on the structure. Cornering dynamics also benefit from this system. The Model 2 can limit body roll to less than 2 degrees, something unthinkable in other cars of this size. This means that, even in tighter corners, the car remains firmly in place and conveys confidence. For those who enjoy driving, this is a detail that brings pleasure behind the wheel. But for those who simply want practicality, it means fewer surprises in unexpected situations. It's a rare balance between fun and tranquility. Tesla also considered urban handling, where the car needed to be agile to navigate narrow streets and frequent maneuvers. The suspension and wheel setup makes the Model 2 easy to park while remaining stable at high speeds. 
It's as if it has two personalities, compact and agile in the city, solid and confident on the highway. This duality demonstrates that the brand didn't want to limit the car to a single usage profile. It's interesting to note how larger wheels also aid aerodynamics. With widths ranging from 190 to 203 millimeters, they were designed to reduce air resistance, which translates into greater range. Unlike rivals that enlarge wheels simply to give them a sporty appearance, Tesla integrated this element into the car's design, ensuring that every detail served a practical purpose. It's the kind of thing only those who look beyond aesthetics notice. In terms of comfort, the result is surprising. The adaptive suspension ensures smoothness, even on poorly maintained roads, something that can be a torment in many compact cars. The feeling is like being in a much more expensive car, which completely breaks the stigma that affordable models must be uncomfortable. Here, it's clear that Tesla didn't want Model 2 owners to feel like they're in an entry-level car. The idea is to deliver an experience worthy of a premium vehicle, but in a more affordable package. When you open the door to the Model 2 in 2026, the first impression is that you're stepping into a car well above its promised price range. The absolute highlight is the 12.3-inch central display, strategically positioned to be the heart of all the vehicle's functions. Not only is it larger than the Model 3's, but it's also brighter, reaching 1,500 nits, meaning that even in the brightest sunlight, all information is clear and easy to read. For anyone who's ever struggled trying to see their phone screen at midday, this difference is a real relief. But it's not just the brightness that's impressive. The screen operates at 120 Hz, which brings fluidity to every touch, gesture, or command. It's like handling a high-end tablet inside a car, something rare, especially in a compact and affordable model. While many rivals in this range still offer 60 Hz or lower screens, Tesla has decided to deliver an experience that's nearly doubled in terms of responsiveness. This makes driver interaction with the vehicle natural, without delays or frustrations. The system also responds almost instantly, with less than 200 milliseconds of delay between command and execution. This may seem like a small detail, but in practice, it's what ensures that navigation, music, or air conditioning adjustments don't distract the driver. This is where Tesla demonstrates how technology can be applied not only to impress, but also to increase safety. After all, the less time your eyes are off the road, the better. Furthermore, the interface allows for true multitasking. Imagine controlling navigation, climate control, and media simultaneously, without anything getting cluttered or confusing. This experience, once restricted to luxury cars, now appears in a model costing less than $20,000 with incentives. It's almost unbelievable to think this kind of refinement has reached an entry-level car. The steering wheel isn't left behind in this revolution either. Drivers can choose between a futuristic mini-yoke or the classic round steering wheel, both equipped with haptic sensors. These sensors capture even the most subtle finger movements allowing volume adjustments, driving mode changes, or even cruise control without letting go of their hands. This approach eliminates the need for dozens of physical buttons, leaving the dashboard cleaner and more minimalist without sacrificing functionality. The interior of the 2026 Model 2 shows that comfort and sustainability don't have to be at odds. The seats were developed from recycled biocomposites capable of withstanding much greater stress than conventional synthetic materials. This choice not only makes the car more resilient and durable, but also aligns Tesla with the environmental responsibility that the public expects. Sitting inside feels firm and soft, something that's surprising given the vehicle's price. It's as if the brand wants to prove that luxury and eco-friendliness can coexist in harmony. The adjustment options are also impressive. The front seats feature 12-way power adjustments, plus built-in heating and ventilation. The ventilation system, for example, uses microchannels in the seat itself, allowing air circulation that makes long trips much more pleasant. 
For anyone who's experienced heat on trips with synthetic upholstery, this innovation is a true game changer. Here, comfort is no longer an extra, but a standard. In the rear, space is another plus. Despite being a more compact car, the Model 2 offers 880 millimarin torres of legroom, nearly matching the much larger Model Y. This clever engineering ensures that four adults can travel without feeling cramped. It's interesting to note how Tesla utilized every inch of the car to create an interior environment that defies expectations for a compact car. When it comes to practicality, the trunk doesn't disappoint either. With the rear seats folded down, the capacity reaches 920 liters, almost double that found in some traditional sedans, like the Honda Civic. This space makes the car a great ally for families, or even for those who like to travel with bulky luggage. The curious thing is that, looking from the outside, it's hard to imagine such a small vehicle offering so much storage space. The climate control system is another highlight worth noting. Inspired by the Model S Plaid, it distributes air through discrete microvents, providing uniform and quiet ventilation. The difference is that energy consumption is 30% lower, which directly contributes to range. This means that, even on hot or cold days, thermal comfort doesn't sacrifice the car's performance. It's a small detail that makes a huge difference in real life. The announcement of the Model 2's 2026 price was what really shook up the market. When Elon Musk confirmed the car would have a base price of $24,999, many thought it was too bold. But the big move came soon after. With federal incentives, the price could drop to $17,799. And in specific U.S. states like Colorado and California, that price could reach $14,299 in ideal scenarios. It's a number that seemed impossible until recently, as no competitor could deliver so much for so little. This completely changed the perception that Tesla was a brand only for those with deep pockets. This value was only possible thanks to a well-planned industrial strategy. Tesla leveraged the architecture already used in the Model Y, eliminating billions in research and development costs. This choice allowed a 20% reduction in manufacturing costs. To give you an idea, while other automakers have to start from scratch when designing compact cars, Tesla took something that already worked and intelligently adapted it. It's like using a solid foundation to build something new without wasting resources. Another decisive factor was the efficiency of the gigafactories. The Texas plant was chosen as the heart of initial production, starting in 2025, with a capacity of 5,000 vehicles per week. This scale ensures that fixed costs are spread and production becomes cheaper with each unit. It's a numbers game that Tesla has already proven to be a master at. And it's not just about producing a lot, but also about producing with quality and consistency, which maintains public trust in the brand. In Europe, the plan was even more ambitious. The Berlin Gigafactory was designed to produce between 150,000 and 180,000 units annually, targeting local manufacturers like Volkswagen and Stellantis, which still struggle to produce affordable EVs with a profitable margin. It's almost as if Tesla had decided to play on its opponent's home turf, leveraging its local manufacturing strength to quickly gain ground. Mexico, meanwhile, has played a surprise role. The planned Monterey plant has suffered political delays, but it is expected to begin operations between 2026 and 2027. If this happens, lower labor costs and proximity to the North American market should allow the Model 2 to be sold at even more aggressive prices. Not to mention that the Mexican factory could also supply South America, expanding the model's reach in emerging markets. Even though it's the cheapest Tesla of 2026, the Model 2 isn't stripped down on essential features. On the contrary, it comes with the full autopilot package, something previously restricted to much more expensive models. This means having advanced assistance like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping, working in a car that costs less than many combustion-powered compact cars.